Hi guys, my name is Gökhan Black and I'm the webmaster at Kursi Web Design Welcome to you. And today I'll be showing you how you can actually create category and the page uh, using WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, this might vary depending on your setup and how, how your website is set up and um, yeah, because you've got different themes and yeah, how you got custom uh, host types and all that. So yeah, it's pretty basic. So what we do, I'm just gonna fire up Google Chrome. So if you if you don't want to use Google Chrome, you can choose any that you wish to use, basically. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to the back end of my WordPress website. So I'm just gonna go down here and find um, products, and we're gonna go to categories. So I'm just gonna add a category here. Um, I can call this category anything I want basically. So so I will be adding a category called XYZ and the slug will be XYZ as well. Uh, you can read the description here. It's pretty much the URL of your um, category. And it's pinned here, so if I choose none, that means I'll have XYZ as main category, and we can have a description here as well. If you want to have a category description, display type, this is pretty much how you want to display the page. Um, you just leave it as default, and that's your category image if you want to have the image you can upload your image so I can upload files or you can drag and drop your image out and if I just click on add new category and go to the top and you should be able to see so I'm just going to search XYZ down there. There we go. That's the category. So please don't confuse this category with this host category because that's fairly different. We are talking about WooCommerce category here. So that's that's the same. We need to set a page now. So go to pages and add new. Now with the title of the page, we need to have the uppercase on because that's how the name is going to see. If I just see the website now, you will know what I mean. Um, it's a big one here. You can see all the menus are pretty much um, Uppercase, so if you don't put that uppercase, it won't be consistent there. So just keep that in mind, and that's X, Y, Z there. Um, you can put the images here as well. Upload that sample image here, and upload it. Just drag and drop there. And that's sample there, and insert into the page. And here we go. So that's its main category, and that will be the subcategory, um, subcategory image, basically. Um, this is how this website is set up anyway. Um, there is there are ways that you can use shortcuts here, but um, that's how this website is set up. So I'm keeping the um, 
keeping the uh, layout or whatever you want to call it the same. So I'm just going to click on publish or save. That's done there, and I'll have to also create a menu. So we go appearance from menus. Choose XYZ and X menu and I scroll down. I should be able to see XYZ there. I can just move that over. So if I want to put XYZ under casual as a, as a drop down, so what I'll do, I just put, just hold my mouse click left. Hold it there, and you can see that the um, box under it's moving. So if it is moving to the right, that means that will be on the casual as a drop down. There you go. So you can see it's a bit indenting to the right. So I'll save the one now. And you should be able to. Let's refresh this. So that XYZ will be under here, under casuals. I'm sure, I had another casual there. Um, Another thing is now with the other menus, so we got an every. Let's see, we got a menu here. When you click on that menu, you can see all this, um, all the products are appearing. So what I'll do, uh, so casuals X Y Z, set up there. So. You have to actually look at one of these pages. So if I go to every page, just need to show you one more thing. Uh, I'm just going to edit this page now. Yeah, so now as you can see, this is the word WooCommerce code here. So Subcategories have these codes there. So you can see a product category is Ellie, per page 12, and column 4. Order by date, order by description. So you can also have this code in, uh, in your XYZ page, basically show different products inside that category. So that's how you actually can show and I will I will go into more details of this um, probably in the next next section. And um, yeah that's pretty much it and we'll see you next time.